You, when you join an after school club, you don't expect it to change the world, but this one might actually do it. The Big Book Project began only a few years after 9-11. A formative event for most of these students, the club soon settled on a topic big enough to fit a big book. They wanted to have an answer to what can kids do, what could they do, physically do, to help make a more peaceful world. So they sent out thousands of letters asking people for their thoughts and ideas on the subject. They sent them to other school children around the world. They sent them to world leaders and public figures. To their surprise, the letters began coming back from kids and from the Dalai Lama, Nelson Mandela, Jimmy Carter. You're looking at world's largest book on peace. It's a book that began as an idea in an after-school program at the Groton Dunstable Middle School. Let me ask you, because you've been working on this for a long time, what does the book mean to you personally? In, especially in this part of the country, we are so advantaged and blessed compared to some other people in the world. It's just really touching to know that we can now help them and we have a method to reach out and work with them and show them that they too can have the peace that we so experience. No, you were actually working behind the scenes, right? Yeah, we helped um, with the layout and the design of the book and to be able to read some of the poems and letters and look awesome. at the pictures and put them together. Do you think that the big book is gonna make a difference in other kids' lives? Yes, I do because because if it just keeps like spreading through more of the world and once we go to the JFK Museum, it might, more people might hear about it and then it will spread more throughout the world so more people will know about it. Miss Betsy Sawyer, young men and women, it has taken you 10 years to create this extraordinary book. Now you have 3,500 messages of peace from around the world and with mine, you have 3,501. What an amazing achievement and what a fantastic commitment. Your Peace Club is an inspiration to the world. What I've learned in the club isn't something that I'm going to easily forget. It's something that I think it's shaped how I view the world and how I approach problems. I have the kids and they inspire me every day in so many ways, if you could be around them and feel the energy and the intelligence and the dignity and the thoughtfulness from these kids, it, it gives you a passion that you just, you know, you can't share it enough. And they, the kids are this book. What happened in history is repeating itself even as we talk today. Um, if you look closely in the news, you can relate to it sometimes. and. Sometimes the history is bad history that we're repeating and, and it would be nice just to not have that repeat itself. But people like Nelson Mandela, they really stand out in my mind. They're so just to show other people how I felt about him felt really good to me to say these kids are learning about what people have done in other countries because we don't always get that in our normal academics. Even if your perfect world might not be the same as somebody else's and you might, other people might not like your perfect world. So if your perfect world, even though you make the rules, they shouldn't be all about what you like. And I really thought that gave me, I liked it because um, it helped me learn more about what I was doing in life and not just all, thinking all about myself. And so I was thinking so to think about others and not just myself when it comes to making rules. Um, I wanted to join Peace Club because I felt like that um, I really wanted to make something change. Like I wanted to be a part of something that would make something big happen to the world. Like maybe inspire people or open people's eyes to see like how many how much violence is really going on in the world and how we can stop it.